What's up guys? We just left Water Canyon Campground just a little bit ago. So we're headed up this canyon and uh, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to this ride. I've eyeballed this uh, for a little while now, just observing it on uh, Google Earth. And it looks like it goes in here a little ways. And from uh, what Pete is saying is it's, it does go in a little ways. So curious to see uh, what the terrain looks like back here. And it's also cool to have uh, somebody who is actually uh, a part of my YouTube channel show me a new area that I've never gone to. I've been to Magdalena Mountains and I did a ride uh, up Six Mile Canyon. So if you haven't watched that, uh, I'll leave a link in the uh, upper right corner so that way you can uh, click on that and check it out. But uh, yeah, same mountain range and uh, it's beautiful out here. Right through here we got some uh, cottonwood trees which is kind of cool. That's a tree that grows down in the uh, Rio Grande River Valley. So to see them up here in uh, the mountains in this elevation is uh, pretty awesome. You know, I have to admit, this is really, really cool to actually meet up with somebody uh, that I met off of YouTube. In fact, um, I know there's a couple other folks that want to meet up and, you know, there's definitely plans to, to meet sometime later this year. And uh, that's going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to, to meeting each and every one of you. And, you know, if you're watching this video right now, I think uh, all of you know who you are and you know I can't wait to meet you guys and go do something in the outdoors you know it's it's gonna be fun and heck yeah I can't wait to do it but so far what the trail feels like is uh, we're just kind of straddling a you know an arroyo wash through here or spring whatever you want to call it and uh, we're just kind of riding the higher side of it so I think that's going to kind of have the, the fill for either all the way through or most of the way through. But we'll definitely uh, find out soon enough. Heck yeah, man. Okay. This is awesome, man. Right. Heck yeah. Right. So people go camping up there, huh? Well, you can tell it. You can tell it's a little. We can pull it. Let's hop up there. Yeah, let's go. Wow, that was crazy. Watch, I'll put the brake on, we'll walk you down. I think I got the brake on, yep. All right, that was crazy, bro. Guess I'll walk up there now. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna get on that side and take off the uh... Yeah, 
stopped. I think I hit that rock and it bounced. All right, take it, take it down. I don't know if I have it in reverse there. It is in high, put it in reverse? Uh, just put it in neutral probably, what do you think? I'll do it like this. We're almost down. You're there. It's all down here now. Yep. <laughs> all right, guys. There's a look down this uh, steep little hillside that uh, I kind of got bumped off and, and did a willy. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty uh, interesting. First time I did a willy like that up on a hill. So, yeah, definitely felt uh, the center of gravity. So, I'm glad that. Uh, I was able to balance out and land it. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh man, heck yeah. Awesome up here, man. Way cool up here. Yeah, a little flat spot right here. You could uh, throw a tent up and there's a fire ring it looks like from here. So yeah, there's a couple little flat spots in here. So pretty cool. Probably about, a, about two, three miles from the campground. Yeah. Heck yeah, man. Awesome. guys so we just left that spot and man that was one steep incline and there were some boulders about to three quarters of the way up and I, I hit a boulder and it, it popped my front tire up extremely hard and so I was on a willy on a pretty good grade and you know I'm, I'm thankful that uh, somehow I was able to balance it out and land <laughs> on my front tires Otherwise, I would have rolled it right there, and that would have super sucked. That's bad, dude. What is that? What's that? This, just a... Uh... I think it's an old, uh, I don't know. I figured you would like that. For your... That's pretty dang cool, man. Good job for that guy, though. Yeah, right? I think a water break. Heck yeah, man. I almost wonder if it's like an old mine or somebody's homestead back here. Uh, yeah, there, there was, there's some beds in there. Some old beds, just the, the frames. Sure. But, yeah. Holy crap. That's cool, man. Check out the view down there, man.
right guys so we decided to stop right here and uh, there's a mine shaft that goes into the mountain right there is a uh, the ventilation system but uh, yeah it's all uh, caged up but looks like somebody got through don't know if they actually locked it or if somebody just broke off uh, the locks but that goes in there a little ways be curious to see how far it went in there and uh, you never know who worked this stuff but somebody was in there <laughs> that'd be cool so check out the view down into this canyon it goes way down in there we started right back in there just around the uh, the bend back there is where I'm guessing we started but uh, we've kind of come up behind that ridge right there and just kind of circled around and kind of already done some switchbacks up this guy right here but uh, continues up Hey, what's up guys? We made it up here to the top. I uh, I ditched my quad back down that way. I, uh, yeah, you know, I got a fear for heights and, you know, I don't do good when it comes to uh, some narrow road riding against some cliffs, but uh, thankfully uh, my buddy over here, Pete, took me up. So, yeah, I'm a chick when it comes to that. <laughs> but, uh, man, I'm glad he took me up here because this is awesome. Right over here behind us, uh, right up there is where the Magdalena Towers are. You can't see them, they're, on, they're beyond the uh, mountainside, but that's definitely where the uh, peaks are over there. And I looked at the altimeter, we're at 9,700 feet over here. So, wow, this is cool. I'm gonna take the drone up and fly it around over here and try to get a better view from, from right here. So, heck yeah, appreciate it, buddy. Right, guys we just made it back down from way up there beyond that rock side up there parked the bike right here at uh, this mine shaft and uh, Pete took us up in his uh, side by side yeah I don't know I've never been able to uh, defeat any fears for uh, heights so thankfully he was uh, willing to let me ride with him and you know he took me up there which was awesome This has been a fun trip, been a great, great uh, ATV ride on a trail that I wasn't uh, familiar with and now I know what it's all about. You know, when you look at stuff from uh, Google Earth or Google Maps, you know, you, you really don't know what the trail actually looks like until you get out there. And I would have to say, uh, from what we just rode in, to compare it next to Google Earth or Google Maps, wow, Google Maps does not do it justice. I mean, this is a very, very steep grade. It's rocky, uh, you get bounced around a little bit. Um, actually had to let out air in the tires a couple times 
just uh, to reduce the bounce on some of these big boulders. And then the side of the canyon that you're riding on, you know, it's, it's a deep, deep canyon. Like right here, you know, there's uh, trees and stuff like that that'll catch you, but uh, we were up on some slopes up there and you know they were so dang steep that uh yeah if you uh if you lost it <laughs> you were gonna go there was nothing that was gonna stop you so that's kind of the uh description of what this trail is all about And it really didn't get steep until, uh, I'd say, the, the last quarter of the road going up. Here's a look back up uh, from the direction we came. In fact, uh, we were just to the right of those boulders up there. In fact, uh, as you can tell, it looks like uh, a thunderstorm's building up there and it's building pretty quick. We were just up there and it wasn't like that. That's pretty, uh, pretty wild. Less than 30 minutes, we got uh, some cloudy skies up there. That's awesome. Which is also giving uh, awesome riding weather. Feels good. You know, Pete's side by side, it's a Honda, gosh, enough. He told me, but I can't recall, but uh, it's a Honda side by side. And man, it is absolutely freaking awesome. I mean, it handled the terrain and grade that we were riding in, like, I don't know, like the best way to describe it is just like going through a, stick of butter with a hot butter knife. It just went through it that easy. So and just like that, <laughs> we're actually getting some uh, sprinkles. That's pretty awesome. Had no idea that was gonna happen. In fact, uh, they said, no chance of rain today. <laughs> I guess that's a indication of how bipolar New Mexico's weather is. But I mean, look at that. That is very steep up there. And you know, the trail just <laughs> goes up and switch back after switch back. And you know, my neck is pretty much been all the way up just to give you an idea of how steep that is. That is wild. Yeah, you can see just how steep it is in certain areas and what the tilt is from this side by side. Man, as fast as those clouds are building, I wouldn't doubt that we hit a little rain shower, like a full-on rain shower here soon. Wow. That is 
absolutely wild. Yeah, he was getting uh, some rear three wheel here. It is beautiful up there. You know, I had no idea that there is a road that takes you all the way to the top up there. You know, I thought this road rode deep in to this canyon and uh, just kind of hit a dead end and up there at the top, you know, the road keeps on going. either had the left or right branch. I see it. That's pretty cool, huh? Little spring right here. Here we are back down to uh, the old home here, which now I am strongly believing that uh, that was a house that the miners were using because of the mine shaft that was up above. And then there's a spring that uh, we just crossed, so that was their water source, and they were able, they were able to make it, uh, you know, livable and at least had water. guys we just made it back to the truck and uh, what an awesome day I appreciate uh, Pete taking me out here and showing me around it was awesome way way cool Hey, what's up guys? We're at the end of the day. We just came back down from the top of the pass over there. And uh, yeah, I like to greatly appreciate Pete right here. Thank you, buddy. He took me out here and he knows everything out here. I know just little bits, but nothing like he does. And I, I just want to say thank you. Awesome. And I'm, I'm glad you reached out to me on the channel and look forward to putting together some more stuff. So yeah, we'll, uh, I'll put this video up and heck yeah, it'll be fun. We'll, uh, we'll make another one soon. So till the next one guys, I'll see you guys on the outside. Later, guys.